Oh, wow, wow, this is an emergency movie jam podcast. Hello, people, it's Michael. James. And we are doing an emergency movie jam podcast. Mostly thanks to Marvel, because... Yeah, <laughs> mostly, mostly thanks to Marvel and DC. So... So everyone knows we're recording this February 10th, just in case this ever gets uploaded in like 80 years into the future, and the movie's already <laughs> happened. We're recording this when the news was just announced. Pretty much. That, um, it's just been announced that Spider-Man is kind of going into the MCU. Uh, apparently, but I think they said Sony's still going to have, like... The final say? I can't remember. Now, this is really kind of weird. And admittedly, I have to say that this deal kind of sucks more for Disney. It it does. It's it's essentially saying, like, uh, yeah, yeah, you you can borrow the car, but I'm going to still tell you how far you can drive it. And everyone, no one was impressed with Amazing Spider-Man 2. And no. now they're like, guess what, you guys? You've got to listen to us. Pretty much. I, I really hope it's not um, Sony Pictures America. I hope it's like Sony Pictures Japan that's having the final say. Because I think when all that stuff got leaked, got leaked from uh, a Sony there uh, during that, was it that hack? I think Sony Japan was like pretty upset with Sony America and was like, well, "Why didn't you loan it out, loan it back to Marvel and all this other stuff? Or why didn't you ask Marvel for advice?" And but this deal is ridiculous. It does nothing but favor Sony, and Sony's the one that's in more desperate need than Marvel. Well... They don't. They don't need Spider Man. They're doing fine on their own. And I'm sure they have a plethora of more characters that they can go in and dig through. And it just feels like this is a really reverse deal where Sony's making out as a bandit and Disney's just like, all right, we're just going to take it. And they pull down their pants and they just take it. (laughs) Well, I mean, I I don't know. I I think it's nice that we're finally going to be getting a Spider-Man, but at the same time, it's like... But we don't really need it. Yeah, we don't don't really need it. Five Spider-Man movies and what, like... 15 years? Something like that. But you think about it, now we're going to be getting a, uh, apparently another Spider-Man, like, when does, when does Civil War come out? That's like 2017, right? So, 2017, I think. I don't know. Uh, I'd have to check. Well, um, Mr. Comic Book Sunday? Is that his name? Uh, Mr. Sunday Movies. Mr. Sunday Movies said that, um, it looked like they were going to bump out Thor Ragnarok, which... Admittedly, I'm pretty okay with because I don't think we've had that definitive Thor movie, and maybe if they have a little bit more time developing Ragnarok a little bit, that maybe that would be then, that'd be pretty nice because it's like but the, this, the past two Thors were just they were eh, they were kind of mediocre in a sense. <laughs> but then it's but then it's like but then it's like the steel really doesn't do anything for Disney. No, and I it, think it gives it gives like it pretty much it gives Sony something. all the power. Yeah, it's just like we're gonna have final say. We're gonna have financial control over this, but we're gonna make them part of the MCU. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just like because Disney and that. I think I think it's Sony's way of like essentially saying, you know, oh, you have Spider Man back, but we're really gonna say what you can do in that, like. I think I think they're gonna put the Marvel spin on. It's kind of like the Fantastic Four, if you think about it. But then like, I, it's, it I looks agree. better, but it doesn't look great. And I think that's what might happen. But my whole thing about it is that I kind of agree with uh, Mister Sunday Movie. Yeah. Right. He and he said we need something different because how many times can you do the Peter Parker story? We've had that enough times. So let's do something different. Yeah, I mean, I just again, it's like. The whole, like, what was it, the rumor was, uh, not the rumor, but I guess the plan was before this deal happened that, uh, uh, Sony was gonna do a, uh, what's Spider-Man's aunt called? Oh, an Ant, uh, there was a rumor going around saying that they were gonna do an Ant-May movie, but then 
Sony was like, no, that's that's not happening. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, there was a rumor about that Aunt May thing, but it was just like, it was like, you just like, you kind of want to look at Sony and go like, are you kidding me? Like, really? That's how far you're going now? You kind of, you kind of like scraping the bottom of the barrel to do that. <laughs> but the whole thing about this is it's just, it's going to favor Sony 100%. Like, Sony's going to be the one reaping the rewards because it's going to bring Spider-Man back into the pop culture and they're, I feel like they're trying to revive a dead horse. Like, they're just sitting there with the paddles, like, clear! Yeah. Well, it's still not working, let's keep doing it. I don't know. I I think if they were to go with, um, if they were to go with another Spider-Man, I'd probably say, uh, either do one that is younger, right? Like, an actor who's actually pretty young, or get, um... Black Spider-Man. Yeah, Black Spider-Man, because that'd be way more diversified, and then I think people would be more interested in the Spider-Man, because it'd be like, oh, it's not, it's not just this, you know, really smart, hip, uh, out-of-place, uh... Uh, white kid, it's it's this black kid. I forget what the name is. Miles something. I think it's Miles Teller. No, that's oh, the Miles ha- Teller. Ha- um, oh, Miles Morales. Okay, Miles. Or- but it's just like you got to do something very interesting at this. point. Like I said, you're now dealing with a dead horse here. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the picture of the um uh, Miles Morales Spider Man, and it's a black suit. That has, uh, it's black and red instead of blue and red. So, I mean, that's actually pretty cool. That it's, it's a black instead of a, a blue. I don't know what they're gonna do. Just the whole thing that I hate about this is that Sony is still in control. Yeah, like, like I told you earlier, it was like, I, I love comp, I love Sony as a hardware company, because they make really nice hardware. It's just, it's, it's not, it's not like they're bad at making movies. But it's just like when it comes to the Spider Man stuff and that, it's just like I just stop Sony. It's like after the first after the first film they cannot be like, Well, we, we don't we 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 can just publish this. It's like no, we gotta get our hands in there, we gotta we gotta make executive choices and it's like you don't need to, just let the let the person who knows what they're doing do their thing. It's just like the first one, they're like, yeah, the first one's so good. What are we going to do? Well, let's just do the same thing, but throw more villains. Pretty much. Because it's like, why did, what in the right mind made them think that The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was going to work when Spider-Man 3, no one fucking likes. Oh, the, uh... And there was too many, and there was too many villains in it. <laughs> the, uh, the one where it was like, Venom was like a really underserved character and everyone says he was yeah. very undercooked and it was it was like oh he's here and now he just got blown up <laughs> <laughs> well it was like they they forced sam raimi to put venom in there and the they forced him to change ones yeah i don't i don't like that I, it's just like give the person the creative person the creative right to do stuff but then again it was their money in there when it into, into the film so but then it's like, at one point do we say, okay, that's enough. Don't do it. I don't think they deserve a second, well, technically a third chance at this. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like... Because this you is need technically really their break. third chance. Well, yeah, but I feel like you need a really long break from the Spider-Man stuff. Like, just let the Marvel let Universe play out as it's already been planned. Exactly. I think, like I said, they just don't need that. It's it's kind of it's kind of like it's not sad but it's kind of funny how I'm like I'm more excited for the Black Panther and the Miss Marvel movie and all that other stuff. It's like I'm way more excited for that than I would be if I it was like oh here's another Spider Man movie. It's like I kind of don't care. <laughs> but it's like the same you know it's like what I've been saying. When, okay yeah they get Spider Man back but that means that more obscure comic thing won't be made into a movie. Because they're trying to bring back Spider-Man. It's just like, he's just, it's just a dead thing that everyone's like, we are not going to let this die. They, they just, they need to, they, they need to like, they either need to say, all right, and give the whole thing back to Marvel or go. They're not going to do that. Which they won't. Yeah, they obviously won't. But, or they go, all right, we'll just, we're just going to hold on to the rights 
for now and not do anything with them. But, again, it's like you're holding on to something that you're paying for. And it's not making you any money. And it's like, oh, this is kind of a waste. We need to do something with it. Oh, let's just pump something out and call it good. So, it's it's just, it's really, it's it's tough to say with what's going to happen with Spider-Man. Just because just it's, at this point, I just don't care. I really could not care about the Spider-Man movie. I know people would be like, oh, you don't care about it? It's like, well, I mean, when it first Living launched, in an it wasn't age. bad. <laughs> Living in an age now where there's so many superhero movies, it doesn't matter if one vanishes. Yeah. Uh, I just... Uh, it's 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 a tough thing to, like, really <laughs> try and figure out in a sense. Like, because it's like... Th- it was amazing news. I know a lot of people were happy about it. But at the same time, it's just like... I don't know. I kind of like how the Marvel Universe is already set up right now. I would rather go with that. Not, not, not saying that it's not. It couldn't add something to it, but it just at the same time, it's like I just, I kind of want to get through phase, you know, wrapping up phase two, and then going into phase three. Maybe finish out phase three, and then like around phase four, I guess. Um, then maybe introduce Spider-Man in phase four. That way there's enough time. So at this point, how do you think uh, Andrew, uh, how do you think Andrew Lincoln's feeling? Andrew Lincoln? Oh, Andrew Garfield, my bad. Oh. Andrew, Andrew Lincoln is Rick from The Walking Dead. <laughs> Andrew Garfield is Spider-Man, or was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, another show on your mind. <laughs> yeah, I know, I, I don't know. Uh, but how do you think, do you think he knew? From when those those leaks, like, did you do you think he knew he was like, yep, I'm done, I won't be doing Spider Man anytime soon. Well, it's not like, it's, I don't think he knew. I think he kind of had that sense of feeling like, yeah, I might not be doing another uh, Spider Man film anytime soon. Not to mention, and uh, I think I think uh, Sony Pictures Japan or whatever, or some some people from Japan. Asked to meet with him to ask him about the film or whatever, and I guess he he kind of like blew him off without telling him. And you're not really supposed to do that. You're supposed to be like, because it's essentially in Japanese culture, it's like you're supposed to be very like, you know, if you say you're gonna be there, you be there. You do not like just go ah whatever. Like I have something else to do. I gotta do that instead. Because. They do not like that. I think I think they didn't really like Andrew Garfield because of that. And it was just like, oh, okay. Like you you do not want to upset your higher ups, your superiors, essentially that are Pretty. making this film. Didn't I don't, well. I just wonder if he if he didn't know after Spider Man Two, like he was like, yeah, this is done, or when it was released, he was like, yeah, this I don't know. Is didn't done. didn't he say he didn't like? Yeah, I think he. Anyways? I think he came out saying. Um, I think he came out making state saying like he didn't really care for Spider Man Two. Yeah, that's not that's not a really good sign when your actor, who's essentially the star of the film, goes, "Yeah, I didn't really care for it." It's like, ah, oh, all right, well, <laughs> that's not good. I'm just like, I don't know. I that's think- what I want to know. Is like, do you think when those emails were coming out, did you think he had an idea of like? Yeah, I'm done. So I should probably be working on something else. I don't know. I felt like... I don't know. Just because, like, the way they portrayed, essentially, Peter Parker as a character, it was too... He was too... I think they did They they did a too, um... Oh, what's it called? The, uh... Like, too relevant, I guess. They were trying to make him, like, too, uh... Relevant, in a sense. Like, he was wearing mm-hmm. these really nice clothes and these very fashionable... Abercrombie stuff. and Finch and... Yeah, stuff American like that. Movie. And it was just like, I... That's not how Peter Parker is. Peter Parker would wear, like, jeans and a really worn-out t-shirt and some really old sneakers. Because he doesn't really care about that but stuff. Like, but, like, what everyone said was... Andrew Garfield was a good Spider-Man, but Tobey Maguire was a good Peter Parker. Like, like I said, if they if they ever choose to do Spider-Man, like I think apparently they are, uh, 
they need to do the Black Spider-Man. They need to do uh, Black the Spider-Man. Just because, just because I think, I think he's supposed to be a lot younger, and it would give that uh, ethnic diversity that Marvel would have. Because then, because then Marvel would be like essentially Marvel would have two uh, black actors in there versus um, uh, uh, what's it called? DC's. Um, um yeah, DC only. Uh, has, I think I think they only have Cyborg right now that they plan out. I'm doing. I I feel like I go with uh, John Stewart for for Green Lantern. Oh, for Green Lantern. Like that'd be yeah, that'd be a lot better in a sense. Because I think I think they want to separate themselves from um from the last Green Lantern movie. Oh, with Ryan Reynolds. That was that yeah. Was I think so... I think they just kind of want to be like. Yeah, that never happened. Here's what we really need to do. <laughs> that was a bad, bad movie. Like, hey, look at this one. Look at this Green Lantern. Huh? huh? I, I saw I saw that in the theater. I think I saw it in 3D. Ooh. That was... I think I think the 3D was done in post. I can't tell, but it was not... It probably, it probably was, because I think, I think that came out around when it was, like, in 3D. On yeah, when, when 3D was, like... Fairly so popular, I guess. I don't think it's ever going to get popular, in my opinion. I hate 3D. I just... Uh, I, I, think, it's I think people are still shooting it today. You know? When they know, like, it could work. Or well, I mean, something. if you've shot a movie from the beginning to be used in 3D, that's not bad. I'm not saying that's going to be bad 3D. That's going to be a lot better. But when it's like, oh yeah, we did this movie... <laughs> Yeah, we could probably squeeze out a few extra bucks from our uh, our audience members if we just do 3D and post. Yeah, just do 3D and post. That's like... I like how everyone's treating this like a win. Like, Spider-Man's fully back. Yeah, it's not. If, if you actually read the fine print and stuff, it's, it, it's not really that... Uh... Everyone's like, he's back, but it's just like... But he's still under the control of Sony! Like, woo. And, and that could that could just be a rumor. We could have that totally wrong, but I mean, I know, right now that's what that's what I've been hearing a lot of is it's just yeah, that's, oh yeah, that's he's what... just in uh, he's completely in uh, like it's it's loan like it. I think Sony was kind of smart from a business perspective. It's like, oh well, you know, you loaned us the rights. We're gonna loan you the rights back, but we still get to do this, this, and this. In a sense. Sony pretty much screwed Marvel and Disney pretty good. But, but it just felt like no one really tried, because, I mean, I feel like they had to be... They, they I feel like Disney sh- had the hands up on them, like, had had the higher part. Like, they could have controlled negotiations, and that's what they run off with. Uh, I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I know. Forget. I know. <laughs> Neither was I. I mean, uh, except for those secret recordings. Goddamn Kevin Feige. <laughs> One of these days, I will. I will do it. I will just put a little sound device on him and just figure out what the whole Marvel plan is. How are you going to do that? Spy stuff. (laughs) I'm going to put a little wiretap on him. That's perfectly legal. We must. What's going on? (laughs) We must. Can can you just imagine if it was like... You put it on him, and then he immediately just spills like coffee on it. And you're like, ah, oh my god! So all of a sudden, what, what the hell am I being shocked? <laughs> abort! Abort mission! Abort! What's this? What's this thing smoking from my jacket? <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> then all of a sudden, they just hear a car go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, would I don't just know. love to know what they're doing. I think a lot of people would love to know what the master plan is. The master plan for Marvel movies. Uh, part, I don't know. Part of me also kind of feels like if Ant-Man comes out all right, that I feel like Spider-Man may be Marvel's first flop or disappointment. I don't know, because cause Spider-Man is essentially... He, he is a very precious character that I think a lot of people care for. 
So I, I think they would take even more uh, mm-hmm. care with that if Sony didn't pull a lot of the same crap that uh, they did with the uh, the other Spider-Man films, especially <laughs> the third um, one and then the Amazing Spider-Man. Too. Spider-Man two, because that was just. That was pretty bad. It was just like, oh, we can see that you already put your hands in, Sony. Already put yeah. your hands in. <laughs> Didn't even try to hide it. Just right there. You, you need someone with like a... Like a they just like swatter. start waving, waving a flag. <laughs> They're like, oh, we put our hands in this, and that's what the little flag says. No, you need, you need someone there constantly like slapping their hand away. Like, no. Don't touch. I would, I would say... Uh, I would say a little um, spray bottle. Oh, like uh, with just, cats? No. No. <laughs> no, back. Back. Just be like, uh, well, we think we should probably add this and this and this. No. Bad. <laughs> Bad. We brought you a list of what we should add. Okay. Just a giant roll of paper. Just goes onto the floor and out the door. Yeah, no. Just just take a lighter to it. Uh, try again. Much, much shorter. Like, one page. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, oh, this is killing me. It's just like, why? Why is Sony in the driver's seat? They're the ones that are, like, limping here. I want to say it was kind of like their trump card, in a sense. They're like, we know we've done so horribly with this now that it's becoming a liability and people don't like us for that. So now we have to play this card in a sense where it will make people happy, but we still retain some of the control, if not maybe almost all of it. I don't know how it's going to play out, though, because it'll be... Holy... They they moved their whole entire schedule back. Who, Marvel? Yeah. Just just because of this. Just because of Spider-Man, because Spider-Man is now July 28th, 2017. Ragnarok is now November 3rd, 2017. Black Panther is now July 6th, 2018. Captain Marvel is now uh, November 2nd, 2018. And now Inhumans are now back in July of 2019. Man... It just feels like they're trying to rush out to Spider-Man. Yet, it, it's good and bad. Because it's, it's bad in the sense that they're rushing out. It feels like they're rushing out the Spider-Man film. Even though it's like, essentially two years away. And that's a lot of time. But at the same time, two years to make a Spider-Man movie that's really good. And then, it's, it's, it's good in the sense that all the other films got pushed back so that they have even more time. So hopefully those films will be a lot better. Yeah. But do you think Mark was? Uh, I think they said that he's not coming back. He's not coming back. Yeah. The good thing about Mark Webb was that there was a pun with his name being attached to Spider Man. <laughs> that was pretty good. I All just, right. I'm just like, I can't believe that they moved the whole thing back. I, I thought there was a few open slots that they had. There was no movies right there. It's just tough to say. I mean, where is it? Yeah, they, it, it, here it is. It says, we're not sure who will take the director's chair on Spider-Man either. Although it is said that, as expected, Mark Webb definitely won't be back. So I think Mark Webb is just like, yeah, I'm all done. Like, I've had too many people screw me over. Mostly Sony. And <laughs> I'm just not going to bother with this. <sighs> Apparently Sinister 6 is still in development but I guess Spider-Man will be in Captain America: Civil War. Yeah, that's what the that's uh, that's what it looks like. The deal is, is that Spider-Man will appear in one movie. He'll appear in one Marvel movie before getting his own movie. I'm I'm guessing he's gonna be like um like an end credit thing in a sense. Or yeah, a, but uh, you know what kind of got me really excited was what? um movie Bob's pitch. What about, did he say? About Peter Parker getting bit at the uh, Ant Man lab. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty cool. But like, I think that, like, I'm like, that sounds pretty cool, and it's like, I think there's enough time. 
Yeah, you'd have to do. Um, uh, but it? then it's kind of weird because it'd be they have to cast him, shoot the scene, and then you kind of when you edit a film, you kind of have to. It's like it's like a webbing, you know. Like you have to un unfurl it, and then try to rearrange the webbing to make it work. Yeah, I just I don't know. I'm kind of um, I, like that sounds amazing, but. Right now, it's just like, oh, we're gonna put it in uh, Captain Mar- America: Civil War, and it's like. I but don't the thing know. is, with that scene, I don't think it really works as a post-credit scene. It would have to be something like they did in the Captain America: Two Winter Soldier, is they announce his name, like they did with Doctor Strange. But you know? uh, but I uh, but I think it's got to be a more physical appearance. Well, what about what about the um. The ending to uh, Iron Man 2, where they're showing all the scenes, like, uh, with the Hulk in that. Well, I was just saying, it wouldn't work as a post credit scene in Ant-Man to do oh, that okay. scene where, where Peter Parker gets bit, because we don't know what happens to the lab in the movie. Yeah, we don't and, know anything about that. And in the trailer, they, they kind of show, like, there looks like there's going to be a big showdown, maybe. Yeah. There might, there might probably the third act might be a big showdown at the lab, and the lab may get destroyed. So I don't think that would work as a post credit scene, which means they would have to fit it into the middle of the movie, which I think they're kind of way too close for them to do it. It'd be, it'd be way too close because then there would be a lot of reshoots. I mean, like a lot to the point where because it would have to be edited. Yeah, there well, it'd probably I am, well, I don't think it would be. I don't think it would be one big huge. I don't think it would be too bad to reshoot because it would just be one scene. It would just show like. Yeah, but then then that would just be it. Kind of be like that awkward moment in the middle of the movie where it's like, oh, he's here, bye. But no, but it doesn't <laughs> have to be like that. Like it could be like they're like they're about to get um Scott Lang, but then all of a sudden they're like, hey, some kid got bit by a spider. Draw them off scene and he leaves. I don't know. I I was just I was thinking in Captain America Winter Soldiers they. They kind of pull on Iron Man too, where they just they show like, I guess, essentially recycled footage or new footage, mm-hmm. where you know it's like oh like like it'd be like footage showing like Black Panther in action, um, and Spider Man, kind of like a uh, kind of like a nod, like a nod to the uh, upcoming. But films. essential. But essentially, I don't know if. But this is also depending on where Avengers Two is going to end. Because it could Avengers Two could end with Cap still being in New York and Tony Stark being in New York, and you know everyone else is just you know fucked off and gone to do their own shit. Well, rumor. I mean, from what we've heard, it's apparently, or the theory is that. Thor leaves from... And then that's Rag... That's, that's Rag... Yeah, that sets up Ragnarok. And then I think Iron Man... Or Tony Stark and Cap are kind Pepper? of like... They're kind of like separated, but they're kind of like... I think Tony's going to live at the Tower, but I think Captain America will probably still live like in an apartment somewhere. But But the thing is, is where are they now? Because essentially... Would you think Cap would be a uh, uh, Agents of Shield? Like, I, I think I think Cap would probably go to Agents of Shield. Like he would probably join them, and I think he would essentially not quite lead them, but I think he would be like. I think that's how. Well, well, just think about this. Think about this. Like Tony Stark has the money, the fame, and he has the uh, essentially the, the Avengers Tower, and then. Cap would probably, this would be a great tie-in to the show, is that Cap then takes the guys from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the TV show, and he starts getting together uh, a uh, rebellion group, an underground rebellion group, using Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. stuff. I don't know. That's how I think it would probably benefit them, in a sense. And then that's another thing we have to look at, is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., What's going to happen to them during the Civil War? Uh, I don't know, because right now, the show doesn't come back till March. Yeah. So we got to wait till then. Um, I don't know. I think 
I think the the show right now, as it stands, is going to focus on uh, Sky and her and the and the inhuman stuff and the inhuman stuff. So it may not, they may not do that. I think maybe Agents of Shield will go off on their own. I guess in a sense. But then it's like, well, they got two two months. March, April, May. Yeah, they have like two months from their comeback to to Avengers. And that's when things are going to switch. Like something big's got to happen in the season finale. Freaking A, Marvel. <laughs> we're just we're like throwing Freaking out a. ideas, and we're just like, well, no, and then we're like, we're we're changing them, and then we're we're going, no, we're, we've even changed that. We, that's not going to work anymore. Oh my God, Kevin Feige. Fuck you, Kevin Feige. Uh, Why? I'm just. I don't know. He does. He, he, he does the shit to us. He's just like la 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 la. Oh. He just loves messing with all the fans. Ha! <laughs> you thought you knew. Just, oh man. Like, like that's that's what I think. That's what I imagine him doing around the Marvel office. La 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 la. Just the oh. face. Yeah. Just being like, so how will we troll them today? Yeah, but... He's like the nicer version of Mr. Burns. He's just sitting there like, yes, yes. How will I screw with their expectations of what the next Marvel movie is going to be? I I guess did we want to talk about the other Marvel films and like... Which ones we Uh, are looking forward to the most? Or should we... Uh, I found one, but I think it's now updated. Oh. Is it updated? I don't know if it's updated. Yeah, Guardians. then it goes, it goes Civil War, <laughs> yeah, Doctor it's... Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, they they just updated it. Um, are we doing just straight Marvel? Like Disney Marvel, or just all Marvel? Uh, Just just the, the movies that Marvel's uh, announced right now. Is yeah, but is it Marvel Marvel or Disney Marvel? Or like, well, Disney Marvel, or are we allowing Fox Marvel in there too? Uh, just Disney Marvel. Just Disney Marvel? Just to keep it simple. <sighs> keep it simple, okay. Um, as simple as possible. <laughs> um, Doctor Strange, I don't know why, but I'm kind of eerily interested now, especially after watching Sherlock. I really... I don't know, I think Doctor Strange is up there, but... Again, it's like there's Guardians of the Galaxy, the Civil War. I don't know. It's I think it's those those three right there are my top three. Civil War. Yeah. Doctor Strange and Guardians of the Galaxy. You talking to me, dude? I've been calling Civil War since the first Captain America movie. I know you did. <laughs> like, did we Civil bet War, anything dude. on that? Did we bet anything on that or? Uh, we may, I don't I don't think we did. I think I think it was just like you watch, dude. You watch, dude. <laughs> Civil War. Civil War. And you're just like, shut the fuck up. You would not let it go after you were like, you were totally right. It was like, oh, I was like, all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm slowly figuring them out. I feel, I feel like Captain America, it was kind of, I feel like that was like a softball pitch. It was a really slow and just home run thing. Cause it, it, they, they just had that vibe with Captain America. Well, and this was, whole world. It was like Captain America one was kind of like, it was the origin story, and you had to give, like, uh, some background stuff. And, yeah, the first one, it wasn't bad, but I felt like it was kind of like, uh, there's probably more to it, you know. Once once Avengers came out, it was like, oh, okay. Now I understand how Captain America fit into everything, but, man, Captain America 2 was just like, oh, get wrecked. <laughs> Captain America can wreck you. Get wrecked. <laughs> get the wreck. Um, Civil you know, War. Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm also excited for Guardians of the Galaxy too. I mean, come on, that is going to just be fun how, all around. How, how, you know, especially since you know, since everyone's like, oh my god, they're going with this storyline, and James Gunn has recently said, um, yeah, this is not based on any storyline. So, uh, good luck figuring it out, you guys. <laughs> and and we're gonna figure out or. We're gonna at least get hints to who Peter Quill's father is, and it's, apparently it's not the same person as it is in the comic books. It's probably it's a whole new person. It's really just kind of like I kind of 
I want to see it. I know it's. I know it's going to be good. I know it's going to be good because it's James Gunn, and that is just going to be. It's going to be an awesome time. It's, I'll probably see that twice. I, I probably I'll probably want if. If they can keep the same sort of vibe that they had with the first one into the sequel, It'll be I think really good. good. Now, um, Doctor Strange, because I want to talk about Doctor Strange. Because did you did okay. you watch the animated film on? Uh, yes, Netflix? I did. Yes, I did. I think the origin of that is really good. The rest of it is kind of eh. But like the origin where he's like being taught by the guy, and he's at the wall, and the guy literally but- tells him take down the wall brick by brick <laughs> and the guy's like i can't my hands are just bandaged like they're, they're absolutely messed Wrecked. up yeah and the guy's like i oh, do it and it's like oh and then he does it and then the next day the wall's right back up and he's like what the i just did this <laughs> i don't think i don't think we're gonna get that because i don't i don't know what they want to do because I know I heard something saying that Marvel's not interested in doing origin stories anymore. No, but if Can't they can take what? that same sort of, like, idea in a sense, where it's just like... Because isn't... I forget what it was, because I think I read in Wikipedia or whatever that Doctor Strange is, like, really, really powerful... Because I think he's yeah, isn't he like sorcerer, per, per, uh, sorcerer supreme? Yeah, he can. Um, let me look him up real quick. He can do everything. He's pretty much like Superman, just wears a cape. Well, and he is wears really, more really of like a magician's hands. cape. <laughs> he's really, really bad hands. And uh, he can't jerk off. Oh. Uh, yeah, I went there. Oh no, I went there. Uh I skim this. So, he's the mightiest magician in the cosmos and more powerful by far than any of your fellow humanoids. Can you imagine if he becomes popular, people are going to start dressing like magicians? Oh, my God. But Why is I, he I mean, giving me his powers? I just hope Cumberbatch doesn't look ridiculous with that goatee. I don't, I don't think they're going to make it as ridiculous as the friggin' uh, comic book there. I think, I think he's still going to have the cloak in that, but I think he's going to be very, like... It's going to be very subtle, I feel. But can I say that Scott Derrickson's kind of... Scott Derrickson's kind of an interesting choice for Doctor Strange. Oh, yeah? Well, he's he's primarily a horror movie guy. He did um, Sinister, the um, uh, Exorcism of Emily Rose, and he did that uh, The Day That Earth Stood Still remake with Keanu. That one wasn't too bad. Well, oh. he's pretty much a meant- they immediately they greenlit the movie, and the strike was about to happen. Huh. And they really couldn't get stuff working out. I'm literally still trying to find his... all oh, powers, here we go. Um... So I'm just... You know, it's it's a really interesting pick. Yeah. I don't know what he's going to try to do with the um, world. If he's going to make I it I think more... it's going to be... I think it's going to be, like, a really cool world in a sense I would almost want someone like uh, uh, Gilmero Del Toro doing Doctor Strange oh Uh, oh my god now I can't say now I can't think of his name Guillermo Del Toro yeah Guillermo I'd almost want him because it would be like I just think it would be like really cool I think he's too busy I think I think it would be really cool I don't know. But, but you know what I think would be really cool? Is if he did something like um, Green Lantern. That wouldn't be too bad. Green Lantern needs... I, we just suddenly switched to DC. Green Lantern needs a good movie. And there's there's good... I don't know if you've seen the animated fil- uh, films or whatever on Netflix. But there's good uh, animated films out there. I watched, like, the, I watched an anime series, anime series that they did. Yeah, which which was yeah. it? Yeah, probably can't remember. It's probably been a while, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, but like I think there's an anime film. I can't remember, but um, I well, well let me let me work more on that. I think Guillermo del Toro 
would be good with the mythos and the creature making. I think he yeah. has way too much of like a horror horror kind of vibe to yeah. do on straight up Green Lantern. I mean, someone it could be, told it could be me, a darker Green Lantern because like Green Lantern can get I don't know like I haven't really done a lot with like DC stuff. Someone said there's three directors and I can't remember one of them. I remember when they said an awesome DC movie would have Zack Snyder chore- choreographing or um, cinematography in it and Guillermo del Toro doing uh, creature design. And I can't remember who they said to direct it. There, there's one more name, but I was like, that would be pretty awesome, but that would be a super expensive It'd be, movie. It'd be really, really expensive. I don't know. Like... I, I like Green Lantern in that, but I like it as a comic book thing and as a uh, as like the anime <laughs> films, not as as a film right now. Because the only Green Lantern film we ever got was pretty bad. I I think that I don't I think Ryan I don't think Ryan Reynolds is a terrible actor, but he did not fit the part at all. Yeah, because he's more like a wise ass. Like a, he, I think he perfectly fits Deadpool. Yeah. I don't think he was right for Green Lantern. Because Green Lantern, I think you, I think he's got to be like cocky, cocky to the point of almost dickish. Is Green Lantern the animated series? Oh no, this isn't it. No, this is the baby version. Let's see, see, there's a movie on Netflix right now. It's Justice League Unlimited or Justice League. Oh, it's an animated series, and it has the black Green Lantern in it. <laughs> oh, here it's Green Lantern the animated series. That's what I watched. They only did one season of it, but they did twenty six episodes. Then they kind of like they split it up on Amazon, and I guess on DVD they split it up. It's just I don't know. Mm, we went yeah. we went with we started with Spider Man, then we went to Marvel, and then we went to DC for a little bit. And now we're back to. Well, I feel I feel like the one we did before. I feel like we were. Two on point. Yeah, I mean, I'm not saying we can't skip around. It's just, it's kind of like, oh, okay. I feel, I feel like we were, we were two on point, and I was being way too. Let's just keep it right here, man. Just don't veer off that line. Don't, don't you do it. <laughs> I don't know. All I gotta say is it's gonna be interesting to see what they do with Spider-Man. Kind of surprised that they've. Already gone ahead and pushed a bunch of the like of the rest of the movies back just to fit in a Spider-Man movie. Yeah, me too. Um, I, I, think, I think I'm very cautious. Yeah, I'm very cautious about this, especially since Sinister Sticks. Sinister Sticks. Sinister Six is still in development, accordingly. I don't know how that's going to freaking work out, but I'm cautious about Spider-Man. Well, they, yeah. I, I know, because yeah. it's like... Under, under this deal, under this deal, I'm cautious about it, because it's like, it basically feels like you're putting a drunk driver behind the wheel again after you already got a DUI. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good analogy there. <laughs> they already crashed and fucked up the car, now you're just giving them a whole new car to fuck up. Yeah. But this time, it's now like, it's like you rented the car, you don't have insurance on it, and they're driving me. Oh yeah. So they're gonna fuck it up, but Disney's gonna take. Disney's gonna have to take the blame. Yeah, for but I mean, being all if, if up. people if people are smart, they'll look into it and see what's like going on. And and once we get a little bit further on, you know, once once we get closer to that movie, I think the finer details will probably come out about it, either just before release or just after. More likely, just after. All right. Well, um. If you guys followed our very, very long and very strange thinking pattern, we made it all the way to the end of here. Congratulations. What do you think about Spider-Man coming back, quote-unquote, coming back to the Marvel entertainment thing? It's a good thing, and this thing is good, bad, that Sony is idiots, and they should have just given it up already. Let us know in whatever fashion that you can tell us. Anyways, I am Michael. I'm James. And remember, jam out to the last frame. Goodbye.